Have you ever tried to make plants in Blender and found out that it just is really hard and none are realistic or the scattering doesn't work or it just doesn't work? Um, well, look no further for this add-on called G-Scatter will let you scatter photorealistic plants in a matter of seconds into your scene. So it's actually really cool. So just go ahead and create a Grasshold account and download the free G-Scatter. It comes with a bunch of assets already. So you can go to edit and um, then let's see, edit preferences, and then you can just install it. Um, just to also make sure to download the latest version of the app because the earlier versions, um, some stuff got messed up and I had to deal with that. So, uh, so what we're gonna do is so you can um, enable it and, um, and and then you have to create a folder in your documents called gscatter and then if you download more gscatter files dot gscatter um it's the file extension that comes with more um, plants that you can use so you can download like big libraries so a lot a lot more stuff but you get a base library that comes with the add-on so once you've had have your add-on set up you can start scattering so i made this really simple little road scene just kind of with a road just for demonstration purposes the ground isn't great but it's um it's just kind of to demonstrate um and it would actually look a lot better with some plants so i know remember that it's only gonna work mostly in cycles i mean it can kind of work in ev but it works best in cycles um so once you have your scene set you can select your object and and check out the name um or you could just use the eyedropper and just put it there um and now we have our emitter as the plane so we can click this little library and you see we have a lot of assets i downloaded the the, uh, the paid version of um the library but that comes with a lot more stuff but you get a lot of stuff like um like some basic grass um and it's just a bunch of things okay so there are a lot of features of this element that i want to go for so let's start by scattering something kind of basic this isn't going to be that exciting but a little bit of um like dead sticks and stuff will look really good so i'm going to do a low level of detail because that's um so, so that you can have more of it and if you're doing a real close-up you might want a high level of detail but low level of detail will work well for that you can turn up the density and if you can't see them at all you can go to the scale so there's this is distribution scale rotation and geometry um the scale is um it, you can um just turn it up and then and then you should be able be able to start to see you have some sticks there so uh, it obviously yes that obviously doesn't look that good so we're going to start adding more plants basically layer by layer every time you want more plants you just click on it again so i'm going to add some woody debris um needles um and um and just big um i'm gonna add some moss like moss dead and like moss green i'm gonna add some wall barley um um you can research particularly biomes and stuff like that so you can kind of get something really accurate but i just am going to a hmm, i live in the woods I, I sort of know about plants and where they like to grow together and stuff um so i just i'm gonna aim for kind of just a roadside kind of scene so i'm gonna turn up the density of those little leaves um, maybe not too dense because we already have the PBR texture with the leaves. Um, I want more of these little grass tufts because I, I like them. I'll just turn the scale up a bit. Um, and yeah, that's, I guess that's a bit too big. I'll do, let's see, 1.5. Um, yeah, so, ooh, what are these? Woody debris, I think. You can drag out the add so you can see things better. So I'm going to add some more. Wait, no, that's the moss. Oh, yeah. Looks way too small. And I don't want quite as much. I don't want them quite as dead. Um, and here's our, another really cool thing. You can add, like, different um, masks, so, like, different textures, um, slope, the, like, um, the more, like, if, if you have a, the, the slope effect makes it only grow on flat places. Um, there's a, a weight mask. I'll talk about that a bit later. But for now, I'm, I think I'll do a musgrave. Ooh, cool, look at this. So you can basically see the Musgrave. Um, oh, I don't know really how to explain this, but it's like... Oh, let's see. Um, it'll, it'll basically make this stuff pop up in, 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 in that texture. It's, it's hard to um, explain, but... 
and uh, it's like a like that a bit better so so that essentially makes it like almost musgrave so like where it's black there will be um the moss and where it's not black um well uh, you, you can probably figure it out if you try i'm just gonna add some more woody debris um i don't want just that wall barley um let's see oh yeah i want stinging nettle i'll do um i want some dead stinging nettle and I want some big stinging nettle, and I also want some sycamore maple, like little sprouts. Um, oh, cool, there's so many. Let's see, make some red clover. And some red clover flower. Let's see. Um, yeah, th th um, it th this is fun. I want a bit of, um, wort plantain. Let's see, Kentucky bluegrass flower. Um, oh, ground elder, I love this one. This reminds me, um, I went on a hike yesterday and saw six snakes. It was, it, it was, it was like a lot more than I usually see. Wait, did I say tomorrow? I went on a hike tomorrow. Oh, I meant yesterday. I'm sorry, I'm tired. Um, okay. Oh, the, that, that, um, the ground elder really does that. It, it that, that, that's beautiful. I have the noise on, so it kind of um, makes it look a bit worse. Um, I want a bit more Kentucky bluegrass flower. And yeah, look at that. That is really cool. Okay, so... And it's, be it's just like them... I like to keep uh, things a bit modest. Um, like, and, and, and try to keep us... Try to yearn for a variety, but... Like, so sometimes it's best to... It's something sometimes it's it's just best like um do a few kinds of plants. And 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 you can really easily create like um all sorts of different biomes. And um here's another little tip. If you take your emitter object and then you um and, and you scale it, you can um if you scale it down there will like um there'll be less and if you scale it up it will make more. So I, I just thought that was kind of cool. Um it's a bit different than that. I don't think, yeah, particle systems don't do that, and it's just like an even distribution. Um, I guess the next thing that I was going to mention was weight masking. Um, so let's just take all these off. Um, and I really like that, but weight masks are really important. So I'll just take the ground elder big because I just really like that one, and you can, and it's really easy to see. And I'll set the density to like two or so. And then I'll add a weight mask, um, and then we're going to go to the paint, and the paint, you can see, it's, it's only where we paint. So, um, yeah, so this little paint for a icon takes you into weight paint mode, and then, then you can just paint around to where you want them. So I don't want those to be that close to the road, because I doubt Ground Elder likes the road too much. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you, if you want it not to be in a certain place, you could, um, do a weight paint with zero. Um, and yeah, that, that looks really awesome. And I like the, the weight painting just makes it so that it, like it only grows mostly in one region and that can be uh, really helpful. So you can add also like um, different things and have multiple weight masks. So say, let's see. Um, I'd say some red clover um, would be really good right in the foreground. So I'll add a white mask layer and then um, and then it automatically creates a new group when you do another um, layer. And then you can just um, paint that next layer. So it's, it's, it's like it's really simple. And oh, the, um, oh yeah, I was using these trees to create shadows. It was really cool. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to paint in the foreground right here. Maybe a bit up here too. And yeah, I'm, I'm liking this. It's, it's, it's looking, um, uh, I, actually, I can't really see that much. Um, what's going on? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to turn up the density so we can see better. And then you can see it's, it's like really obvious now. And, and I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious how effective the weight masks are. So if you, you could add like, um, of our own like, texture and like stuff like that. Um, wait. Uh oh, what did I do? 
Wait, I completely destroyed that. Oh, no, no, no I didn't. Okay, um, yeah, so I'm gonna do like a density of 10 or so. And then you could just keep on doing that with all of the layers. Um, you can actually do the same thing on scale. So like, um, you could do weight mask and learn when you paint, things will be bigger than everywhere else. Um, let's see, is there anything else that I need to mention with this? Um... Ooh, oh yes, camera cooling. Uh, not cooling, calling. Um, you can go to optimization and then camera cooling, and um, everything just goes away. But the cool thing is, um, you can select the camera. Um, actually, you could just use the active camera. And now, um, let's just lock our camera to the view. Let's see. Um, view lock camera to view. Um, and now it's the camera cooling on. You can see it only um goes where the camera sees. So um let's see. Um the, yes, the focal length is fifty. You want you want the focal length to match. Um and also the sensor size. So now you can see I um let's just go into solid view. Oh yeah, I think I think we want a bit greater of a focal length. Um Yeah, yeah, so now can't see anything. Um but so now it just looks like we have all of our plants here. Yeah, it's it's hunky dory, all of our plants are here. Um you can see it from every angle, there are plants, of course. But then you can see when you move the camera around, the plants just only go where the camera sees. It's it's such a cool like illusion because it really looks like like the plants are everywhere, but they're actually really just um where the camera sees. So that just really helps with more performance. Um, whoa! I don't, need, I don't think I need to compile sheeters. Please! Eek, eek. <laughs> oh yeah. Whoa, this is actually looking surprisingly good in Eevee. Ah, uh, maybe not. Um, but yeah. And it, it's really cool because it's just like, it, it adapts to them. I don't know what to do, so I just am going to add, um, uh, that's, a, that's pretty much the end of the tutorial, but I just am going to add like some sticks and um, the debris and some leaves just because I feel like like I, I just I just want them because it'll just make suck better um sticks um and yeah I want I like the sticks oh yeah that that looks better so this still is not like photo real um oh yeah I have the photographer I don't I can do them stuff like that but it, like it, it looks really um like you can change the hdri around and you can get some really cool looking stuff um without much work at all like um also another photography tip just just it's it's in blender and it's also just in general um it's always best to shoot into the sun so like um so like you can actually catch the translucency in the plants because like um the grass wild plants act in the correct way so it's like um it's, it's really beautiful um like oh this is not that pretty but it is so photoreal um i'm having fun now looks like a bit like night city yeah Ooh, i like this one that is really pretty so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial thanks for watching um I should remember to put the links to Grasswald in the description so you can just download it together. Um, remember, you'll need to create a free account. Um, you can pay to get more stuff. And, well, yeah, so please like and subscribe because I, I'd really appreciate that. I'd like my channel to grow a bit more. So, um, see you in the next video.